plotted a challenging two day hike and wild camp in the Lake District. Join myself and Fern as we take on the great British weather, deal with the absence of some important kit and take in some of the most beautiful views the lakes has to offer. Uh, hello, welcome to another video. I'm Hi. here <laughs> with me Fernie. I'm also <laughs> dressed like a character off Grand Theft Auto and a hiking, the hiking guy. Sort of mixed with Dora the Explorer. What? We've just left Grasmere after a lovely breakfast and a little trip to the gingerbread shop. Oh, that was good. The old gingerbread shop to get some snacks. And I've plotted in a circular route in the OS map, which I will leave below so you can follow it yourselves. But apart from that, we don't know what we're doing. We don't know where we're camping. We don't know which water we'll be dunking in. Oh, we need to swim though. We need to swim. We've been living in the van. We already smell and we've just started. <laughs> That's true. So we're going to do about 10 miles today, wild camp up tops or somewhere, and then another 10 miles tomorrow. Stay tuned. Cue intro music. What's the intro music? Oh yeah, and also it's my birthday. Yeah, you could have a dunk for sure, but I feel like there is better to come. So we've just started. We've left the road now. We've got the three-person tent. Fern's carrying the poles. I'm carrying the actual bag. I mean, the actual tent itself. The lot of this links up different paths that I've travelled before. So it's good to to sort of sew everything together in your mind tapestry, your map in your mind. I'm looking forward to it. Two days of hiking and exploring and I can already see a wonderful fast flowing waterfall because we've had some serious downpours of late Grand Theft Auto Hiker 1 tuning in just to say we've passed the beautiful Easdale Tarn Whey! and we're about to head up to the top of here which looks pretty steep so let's get some before shots this is Dude, this is me before the be quite hot feeling okay yeah this is before let's get to the top <sighs> Whew. here we are <laughs> A little bit more gassed out than last time gassed on. Beautiful. <laughs> not even gassed out. A little bit. The thumbs. I don't think we're at the top yet. We're not really. We just stopped to put a little rock on that cairn. Do you want to contribute to this cairn? Yes, I do. I'll find a nice rock. What shape are we going for? The shape of the one that's nearest to you. <laughs> the perfect one. <laughs> Any final words? Is there some sort of ritual you do? You have to just thank... Uh, the rock. Well, yeah, no, Dwayne Johnson. Thank you, Dwayne Johnson, for everything that you've done for us. I love Moana. There you go. <laughs> drone shot time. Why is it so long? It's drone. Wow. It's Are you going to make the noise? <laughs> Repeating cycles in my head bring me down. And I've been itching at the back of my head, the crown. If I remain or inside my head, it's one of the two. Testing out the new selfie stick, Tony. Is it good? Look, I, I get a quid every time you go. <laughs> Millionaire. Billionaire. <laughs> yeah, Tony! <laughs> He's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, the temperature's dropped considerably. We were like, oh, let's wait till we get up top, then go for a swim. <laughs> Not feeling it now, are we, Tony? No, um, it will be a chill. Put your 
Tone. What? I've got something to say to you. For some reason, she's calling me Tony, Tony, Tone, and Tone. This is what you do quite a lot of the time. Go on. You come right over to me in the old place, which is really nice. I'm loving this up till now, and then you do this. Oh, what's that? ADHD, <laughs> and isn't it? Massive, oh, what's that? <laughs> and you're massive bag. It's a goose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the bag. The bag. The bag, Tone, what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Come on, all right. That's noted for when we get on top of a ridge. Yeah, we're, we're, we're on top of a ridge. All right, sorry, turn. Well, less of that, Sorry, maybe. sorry, right. Take three. <laughs> it's blustering, it's coming this way, so we're gonna go get down off this ridge a little bit, find a little bit of shelter, and see what we've got for snacks. Quid's in. There's another quid for <laughs> Whew, moody. It's starting to rain. <laughs> Stop calling each other Tone now, Tone. The rain's coming, Tone. No, let's stop calling each other Tone, it's weird. I thought it wasn't windy up here. Yeah, I found a place, just look. Right, Trust me, you big fish. <laughs> look, here. <laughs> Guys, guess what Fern's forgot? <laughs> oh no, a raincoat. A frog tog rain jacket and we're expected to have tomorrow from like early in the morning torrential rain all day and she, all, all Fern's got is my rab um, down jacket which as we all know shouldn't really be getting wet this is a new one <laughs> that's still a quid to me though because that's the same as that in a way is that minus a quid minus a quid and my Fitbit's just done its first noise. Really? Guy, I've got a Fitbit, everyone. That's, That's so exciting. It's doing something. It's telling me that you're an idiot for forgetting your ring. <laughs> it's right. That is correct. Not really. That's a j that was a jape. You've been punked. I'd like to say in my de Oh, don't take me. Thank you. Right, well. Uh, well, in my defence, I mean, I don't have a defence, do I? Because I don't have a raincoat. Yeah. I did pack it, and it was in my bag at some point today. But then I unpacked it, and that is where the mistake was made. Yeah, and it's going to be a costly mistake. It's going to be a mistake. But who, day. in the end of the day, it's going to be a costly mistake for me because tomorrow I'm going to lose my waterproof jacket for Fern and her new fleece. I've got a new so fleece. So it'll be new fleece, new me. Yeah, so I'm going to lose my this waterproof, and I won't be able to wear this because it's down, so... No, I, I t-shirt weather for me tomorrow. No, I lost I haven't packed it so I'll just I'll be cold and wet. Like I said, off camera, it's not, I would rather <laughs> me be the one who's cold and miserable and deal with that than deal with you when you're <laughs> if you're cold and miserable. No. Yeah? Yeah, that I I do understand your and reasoning there. Because love. Because love. Yes, love, I don't want to look after you, don't I? Mm, I Need to keep you. dry. Thank you. I do appreciate it. How's the you? vegan pepperoni? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not vegan. <coughs> I know. I know everyone thinks I am vegan, but this is a delicious. We're not vegan, we're just getting some pepperoni based uh, snacks. What else have we got? I got I'll tell you. Well, we've got some real good snacks. We went to the shop. Um, Grenade bars, classic. High protein, low sugar. Pow. Uh, hot pepperamis, hot pepperamis, mango, and cashew nuts. Put an image of a cashew nut there, picture of a cashew <laughs> nut in case you didn't know. And with the Pièce de Résistance is some of Nanny Baggins' ginger loaf. Pièce de Résistance. Pièce de like, Restaurant. <laughs> is that a kind of restaurant? Yeah, it's a, it's an Italian restaurant that in Doncaster. That would be a good name. Pièce de Restaurant. Fiesta no, Restaurante. Should we open it? Nah, I think that's for later. But anyway, sorry for the lack of banter. I think it's because we're a bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because we're <coughs> dreading oh, what's yeah. to come. Well, what happened is it, it got really windy up top and it rained a little bit and that made us think, ooh, it could rain. And then, ooh, nice one. We've got uh, waterproof jackets. And then, ooh, Fern's forgot a waterproof jacket. Then, ooh, I'm going to lose my waterproof jacket when it rains. <laughs> The only other thing I can think of doing is making like arm and leg holes for the um, bag cover and using that as a kind of waterproof body suit. Yeah, but then what, your bag's going to get drenched. Yeah, pros and cons. 
There's no pros. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, let's have a little snack a doodle do and then figure out where we're going. And also, just an, a footnote to me in the editing suite, just cut out that bit where I said snack a doodle do. These lads. <laughs> hey. What was it like then, Reading Festival? You have a good time? <laughs> So we're heading down now to Stickle Tarn. She's off, look, she's off. She's off. <coughs> Sorry guys, I know she's always on a phone. Like I've got the map this time. <laughs> Who's in charge? Fern's in charge. Yay! <laughs> Quid. But we get a nice look at your new renegades. Renegades! Lowers. So we're leaving Stickle Tard. We're heading down. It's quite a steep one into Langdale, but it's sort of. We're going down to traverse round to go back up. It's just the way I've planned it. You know, you could just stay up in, in fells and go along and whatever, but we don't mind putting a bit of a shift in. And oh, there's a pub down here that we want to stop for a bit of lunch. I am having a packet meal for me dinner. I'll have one tonight. So basically, neither of us have got our cook kits. The origins of why we call each other Tone, and it's it's starting to become annoying, but we got one of these uh, case file things off the internet where you solve a case, and we did it together, and we became detectives called Tone and uh, Tone. Didn't we, Tone? Yeah, Tone. And we're like, oh, cool, Tone, we've got to get this finished, Tone. Uh, it's too much, it's TMI for you guys, that, but you'll put up with such baffling nonsense for views like this. Look at that. Wow. The firemen are inside my head, it's one of the two. Cause this head is controlling me, I mean it's just you. Say it's over my friend. How long until the end? Cause I'm past the point where I can amend I don't love myself but I can pretend The lads No, Robin, oh yes, look The main event Ooh, bullfinch Is it? Him on the stump They're just yellow, there's blue tits them No, I don't think so They're juvenile blue tits Yeah, because they're a bit yellowy. And he's just a sparrow. He's a house sparrow next to him. I love birds, me. <laughs> oh, there's a robin on the floor. We're refreshed after our little dip. And we're now in the Langdale Valley. And the sun is out and it's glorious. And we're heading to the pub where we're going to decide if we want to stop for some food and maybe a pint. Or do we bat on? If we stop at the pub, we might have to camp down in the valley, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but it would be quite nice to get up in the hills, wouldn't it? Is the, is the only con that if we camp in the valley, we don't get the views? Yeah, and we'd have to walk further tomorrow. Oh, yeah. In the rain. With no raincoat. With only you in a raincoat. <laughs> we've gone past the pub, and we've just filled our water bottles up and got a packet of scampi fries and that's it because time isn't on our side as far as the light goes we don't want to sleep down in valley because i've slept down here before so we're going to push on and get back up the tops and see where we end up and everything like it's the right it's the right decisions it's the right decision wasn't it me you it take it away Um, yeah, delayed gratification. As Fern says, delayed gratification. We'll have our, and camping meals aren't bad, are they? So basically, 
neither of us have got our cut kits. No, we've got nice ones. Oh wait, what did you get? Did you stick with your salmon and broccoli? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Why, is that good? I like it. Okay, fine. And we've got an apple crunch. Yeah, but we're gonna have to maybe save that for tomorrow. I don't know if we can have a two course meal tonight if we've then only got snacks tomorrow. Delayed gratification though, innit? <laughs> is that delayed gratification or is that just eating all your lunch? Yep, <laughs> a bit of both. We're going to be starving I, I, and wet. And I'm going to be soaking and we're going to be starving. Like but we need to save some good things for tomorrow because otherwise tomorrow will be awful. Okay, fair dues. So we're heading up to this wall of rock. <laughs> Steak pass up there, S house up there. There's a lot of people on that path for some reason and there's no one on this one. So we've decided to alter our original route and we're going to go up and over here. That one is a lot harder to get over. This one's no cakewalk like but it's a little bit uh, at lesser distance than going all the way around there so we're going to chug it and get up here and this will probably be our final big climb of the day. Yeah. We did it. That was a tough gig, wasn't it? It was really hard, but we did it last year and we like stopped like five times. I didn't, I well, stopped maybe I once. You were maybe just stopping because I was stopping, but no stopping this Fern didn't stop once and then was over them uh, <laughs> stepping stones like a mountain goat. Last year, I was holding on to them for dear life. Yeah. Waiting for someone to lift me over People the People were calling her the limpet at one point, <laughs> but you did well there. Thank you. Right, we're up. Back up into Fells. It's one of them where we've got options now. At 20 past five it is. We've probably got two hours before it starts to get dark and we pitch up, so do we stay up in the mountains and traverse around or do we go back down and come back up? I don't know why I'm saying this stuff on camera. That's kind of daft, but that's where we're at. We're at a decision thing. So I'm sharing it with you, but we're gonna hike through here wait to see if we do have an option of a multiple choice and i think we'll get the bags off look at the map and have a bit of water right we're gonna go off piece then we're gonna go this way instead we we plan to go down this valley but we're gonna go up and over here Temperature's dropped a lot, so we've both got our jackets on and extra layers, and the wind's picking up, and we're still heading up. You can see over there that big mound there is Eagle Crag, and we were going to go down into the valley and maybe sleep down there, but we've decided because the rains are going to be coming tomorrow and it's going to be horrible weather to not go down to go back up again, but try and stay up tops. So our mission now is just to get a bit of time done and then find somewhere as sheltered as we can and get the tent set up. That mm. loaf is great gable. And the last time I was on there, I couldn't see a thing. I can see more of it now from right way over here than I could when I was on it. Beautiful. I think Fern's hit her first <laughs> speed bump, we'll call it, shall we? Yeah. Sleep bump. Sleep bump. And if you could crawl into my backpack and that oh. would be that, would that be what you want? If I could like shrink myself down and put myself in here and then I'd just like sort of peek out over the edge to make sure everything was okay and then go back to sleep. Come on then, let's dig deep. Oh, they don't know me, son. Who's gonna carry the boats? And the logs. You do it, Goggins, while we have a snooze and maybe a camping meal. Lovely. This looks pretty cool, though, in amongst all these rocks. 
is often where you can find a little sheltery spot but at the same time it's hard to get your pegs into ground and it's at times like these when i'm glad that i packed four delta pegs so it gives me peace of mind right well you'll see when i get them out you'll love a delta peg they're bloody brilliant baron greenback look at that look at that stunner you're a stunner, darling, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. We've got a bit lost, and it's very boggy around here. And so, already wet feet. Oh, glad I didn't wear my trail runners. And really just being cautious with where I'm standing after me, uh, my last experience with a bog. <gasps> and I think what it'll be is it will get to the stage where it's getting so dark that we just have to find somewhere. Fingers crossed that somewhere. He's half decent. Deal or no deal, we're like, no deal, no deal, no deal, no deal. And thankfully, as the sun starts, look at that sky, it's beautiful. I don't know if it's picking it up on here, but it's gorgeous. The clouds are moving fast, so you can, you can see how windy it is up there. But we've found this bit here, and it's quite sheltered from the wind. And it's relatively flat. Not the flattest pitch ever, but any part in a storm and it looks like the storms are brewing so we're gonna pitch up here and have a lovely camping meal aren't we you're gonna out me <laughs> i'm outing us yeah it is us there's a thing that's happened and as we were walking up there we we're like oh i've never been so hungry i can't because well, we because we didn't go to the pub and thought right we're gonna have our camping meals <laughs> Uh, and then we were walking up there and I was like, oh, I've never been so hungry, I can't wait to have my camping meals. And what did I say something about the pot? I said something about pot and Finn was like, oh, I ain't got my pot. And I was like, I ain't got mine. And I was like, oh, we ain't got... A... So basically, neither of us have got our cook kits because there was a, a mix-up when we were set off where I said, I'll bring my stove, which I've got, and Fern thought she meant I meant the whole cook kit, so she left her whole cook kit. So it was a miscommunication, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm letting her off very lightly with no, this. No, it was because I. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> let's not. Let's not. It was a miscommunication with with that and the rain jacket, and so we don't have any food. <laughs> we don't have any food, and we're, we're hungry. And our Fitbit's are telling us we're in a calorie deficit. We're in such a calorie deficit. So I think the best thing to do We've is got just no calories left. Pitch the tent in silence <laughs> and go to sleep. Do you think maybe what happened is because I went hiking with Rosie last week? And did you think because I did that you were like, oh, she's got it now? Yeah, she's a hiker. She's not. She knows it. Nah. But we're <laughs> we're learning the hard way. So let's get the tent up. We are had some good luck, and I think this pitch might be our good luck. This, it looks like a beautiful um, sunset's going to occur, so we'll get that. Um, and we've got some trail snacks. We've got like a, a slack handful of nuts and some bits. But oh so that that'll do us for today and all tomorrow. <laughs> so we're going to be hungry. But the glasses are full and when we do get to a pub or wherever we get to at the end, that's going to be the best meal ever. And we're going to be, it's going to be ace getting dry and having a shower and that, innit? Okay. What? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. We've still got a miniature of whiskey, or have you left that? No, I've got that. Happy days, we've got a miniature of whiskey. Forget that. that should <laughs> abate our hunger for all night. <laughs> right, let's get this tent up anyway, come on. There's... A big Agnes Copper Spur, something, something, something or other, three so far. I love it. Fern's just in there, sorting out the airbed. I've just been hunkering down and in all on all four corners I've got delta pegs because it's belt and braces. I don't mind, I mean, they're awkward to carry, they're an awkward shape, but I don't mind at all because it's peace of mind when you're in this boggy ground these little pegs aren't up to much but yeah doesn't it cut a fine figure up in these fells it looks i think it looks amazing this tent considering how windy it was before we got into this little bit i think we've fallen on our feet it's due to piss it down at 11 o'clock all night then we get a little bit of respite and then we're back on the piss at about 11 again in the morning so we'll hopefully find a window and set off in the dry Right, we're in. We've decided to the Cedar Summit there. We've opened it 
we filled it with water. It's one of the puddings. It's uh, apple crumble crunch. Apple crumble crunch. So we've put it in and we're going to cold soak it overnight. So hopefully we can get some calories in us before we set off. But we've got a little bottle of Talisker single malt Scotch whiskey, just to, for a little a little nip. And then this, which we went and got, which is Sarah Nelson's Grassmere gingerbread. It's like um, it's not like bread. It's like it's. It's like it's crunchy but chewy. It's delicious. And anyone who knows will know that that is a good little thing to have. So instead of our meals, we've got <laughs> a bit of that and a bit of that. And I'm happy with it. So unless some madge or trad happens, oh, no. we'll shall see thee <laughs> on the morrow. It's the end of the world at the palm of my hand. When it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? We've packed up, we've left no trace as usual. There's Fern, she's still got her down trousers on, which is a bit of a... She might get found out with that. <laughs> and we've got to go find the path. Woo! We're off. It pissed it down all night. Windy, raining. <laughs> oh, we had it, we had it, but we survived it. We had our earplugs in to block out the wind and we survived, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Were you warm? Was I warm? Yeah. Yeah, I was really warm, but I had down trousers, down coat. Everything zipped right up and then even my sleeping bag I'd like pulled. So the face hole was really, really tight. Right, so fully enclosed. We've had driving weight rains. It was even driving through the uh, air vent on the side of the tent. And, oh, this, <laughs> what is this? I think it's just like just keep going don't stop in case we sink right we're just going to keep going and get wet <laughs> leave it all out here innit help oh. <laughs> I'm always so nervous now oh. oh full bog your new shoes they'll keep you dry though Fern's got some new Lauer Renegades women's versions Shedding water beautifully. We were waiting for a break in the weather. This is, believe it or not, the break in the weather. But it's forecast just to get a lot worse, a lot more rain, a lot more mist, a lot more wind. I think it's only sort of seven miles or so we've got to go through this. We need to keep our wits about us though. How's the wits? My, I actually feel like my wits are quite good. Yeah, she's good. Wits are good. How are your wits? Wits are good. I had a little moment back there where I was like, oh, this is a tough gig. What, when I asked you to get your fit mat out? Your when bag? you asked me to get more stuff out of my bag and I've just <laughs> spent ages fastening up my thing. That sinks will. Oh no, some comes in my shoes. It's so tempting just to make a dash for it. Do it. it. No. Do it, the dash. No, I've seen your last time you dashed, it went terribly wrong. <laughs> Don't dash. No dashing. Back, back, back <laughs> out, abort, back out. abort. The rains are coming. Boggy. Oh, it's boggy. Oh. It's ever so boggy. And the stones, because of the wet, the stones have become really slippy. Yeah. Bog myrtle. <laughs> so, is there anything you can forage up here? Um, just delicious water. Water. I think we're going the wrong way. Delicious wrong ways. We should really be getting back before the weather turns terrible and it is cold and we are cold, but <laughs> what are we doing? Going for a swim. Going for a <laughs> swim. Just to re-energise and it's like having a shower in the morning as well, especially if you're like hungry and you're a bit tired and stuff. Just going in some cold water for a bit can really give you a new lease of life. Or it can zap any remaining energy that you may be holding on to. <laughs> <laughs> She's out. We're out. That'll do it. That'll do it. Delightful. I'll film it just in case I disappear. Uh -oh. 
good yeah this was all right so far so good this way. yeah <laughs> I can hear fast flowing water there waterfall no doubt oh stunning views <laughs> How do you feel after you swim? I feel great after my swim. How do you feel? Yeah, really good. I mean, I was, uh, it's a loose to call it a swim, but... I, I swam. You are, yeah, you officially swam. But, yeah, we were just saying, you're feeling vigorated. It gives you a whole new lease of life, even if you're tired and hungry. And that was... We knew this was going to come, and it was one of the reasons why we did it. But we didn't plan on not, you know, bringing our stove and not eating properly, but... In a way, it's good because we wanted to be cold, wet, hungry. I've been all of those things. And you've been and still are all of those things. <laughs> Abstaining from stuff or putting yourself through hardships, even the simple things, just a, a shower or carpet underfoot or clean clothes is joyous. The thought of it is joyous. But then to mix it up with like a pub meal. Pub meal? Let's, it, oh, let's talk all about food. Food, food, food. It's the perfect birthday. I wouldn't have wanted to do anything with anyone more than I'm doing, more than this. It's been van life, seeing family and friends, and then hiking and wild camping in the lakes with Fern. Oh, oh no! Oh, that was really bad. Oh, oh no. Bogfoot. Out of nowhere. Too busy waffling on. Right, I'm off. It's uh, it's a bit unforgiving down there, and the rocks are slippy. <laughs> you all right. So the rest. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Are you giving in? No. Keep going. Keep going, come on. It's so slippery. There he is. Look at that, mate. That is a stunner. Beautiful. The waterfalls are really on form. Because it's been raining all night, they're just coming down with some force. In case big stacker. Yes. What's your tactics? Where are you going? Swimming across. She's gonna swim. Just in case you stack it, be funny and for a little bit. No it work. We've got this. <laughs> oh, she made it. And as the rain starts to fall heavier, we make our final steps towards the curved bridge, which yesterday was our first, which way do we go? Oh. <laughs> and yesterday, ah, we went that way up there and we have done a full loop back slightly smaller than intended but still amazing still amazing if you want to look at the route we did i'll leave it below and uh any final thoughts it's been amazing that's my thought it's been great and i was really worried at times that when i'd forgotten everything i'd ruined your birthday and life you've made my birthday and life better <laughs> no. because this pub meal and this be shower perfect. and everything I'm wet. this water <laughs> is gonna be the best tears it's joy. just everything's going to be lovely from now on so we've got maybe a half a mile walk back into Grasmere 
I won't bore you with the details. We'll leave it here. You're not going to show him the roast dinner? That's what it's all been leading up to. I might cut a roast dinner <laughs> if we have a roast dinner. But apart from that, thank you very much thank for joining me, Fern. Thank, thank you. Thank you thank very you much. So much. Thanks for watching and I'll leave you in the capable hands of future me and everybody's favourite time, map time. And there we go. I don't have the rest of the map for this one because all my maps are in storage. So we're just dealing with this that I got in a charity shop. And I've used it before so there are other markings on it. But we started down here somewhere <clears throat> in Grasmere. Had a lovely breakfast and then we set off out of Grasmere, up here. There are some absolutely stunning waterfalls along here. Past the side of Easdale Tarn. This, look at the contours on that man, that was steep. Steep as along here. Up and up and up and up and up. Some lovely views, the temperature dropped up here, but some lovely views over Stickle Tarn. This is where we had our first stop, had a bite to eat, and started making our way down. Around the side of Stickle Tarn. Down here, pretty steep down here into Langdale Valley, some lovely views coming down here. And here is where we had our first swim. And we go, so ignore this bit, this was just me another time. So along here, we ignored the pub thinking, oh, it's all right, we'll have our camping meals. Little did we know. Through this valley, Langdale, ignore that, that's just where I've camped before. We went up here. Very steep climbing, it was getting late in the day, so we were a bit fatigued. And it's just a gradual one. Uh, we got to here. And the original plan, the original plan, if I zoom out, was to go up and around here and back down this one. But we decided just to cut up straight over here. And then, again, on the original plan, we were going to go this way and round. But because of the time and the weather and everything, and the fact that we didn't have rain jackets, we decided, or Fern didn't have a rain jacket. I had a look at the OS map and decided to come up here. It's still a gradual uphill all the way. To Langdale Pikes. This is where we got a little bit lost through this bog <laughs> and then more uphill up to Thunacar Knot through there. That was lovely up there, some stunning views, some lovely little bodies of water. And then we dropped down here because the wind was blowing this way. So we dropped down here and that's where we camped. We got a little bit of respite from the wind, but in the night, it, it was windy and rainy. We set off in the morning, in the mist, for another little bit of uphill. I kept saying to Fern, look, this is the last bit, then it'll be downhill, I promise. And they kept being more and more. <laughs> but once we got up here, it was, it was downhill. We started to come down here, down here. We had a little swim around here somewhere. And carried on through the mist crossroads map check and then this was downhill but it was wet and there was lots of stones so it was a bit slippy underfoot so it maybe took us a lot longer than we thought but it, this valley is just beautiful we followed this all the way down to Easdale and back to the little bridge over Easdale Beck and that's where we said was the end high fives all round <laughs> and then we carried on Back to Grasmere, we managed to find somewhere that did us a Sunday dinner and it was the best Sunday dinner ever. We were more than ready for it and that was the whole point. We wanted to be hungry, we wanted to be cold, we wanted to be wet and we wanted to appreciate the things like a Sunday dinner, like just being warm and not wet and hungry and that was that's what happened, it was perfect. Right, thanks very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon. I can pretend.